Under the House of Representatives, Congresswoman Madeleine Berdalio introduced H.R. 1843, which would designate the facility of the U.S. Postal Service in Barragata as the John Pangolinan Gerber Post Office Building under the Oversight and Government Reform Committee. Gerber, who passed away on May 4th last year, served in the Marine Corps in Vietnam and dedicated his life to promoting the heritage of the Corps in Guam, having founded Guam's Pacific War Museum and lobbied the renaming of Marine Corps Drive. KUM spoke with several of Gerber's family and friends regarding this honor. Gerber's nephew, E.J. Cavill, says the bill would be good news for one of Guam's local boys. I think it's, a, it's an interesting situation uh, um, because, uh, in my understanding, there's no, uh, not many post offices are named after uh, uh, civilians, uh, you know, who, who live in the local community. And uh, my uncle John Gerber, for anyone that, that knew him, uh, uh, was involved in various aspects in the community and, uh, and did a lot for not only his island but for his country. Having known John for over 20 years with being in Vietnam during the same period and reconnecting while on Guam, Friend Lee Weber says John's focus was always on the Marine Corps, which he would want noted on the post office. I think the only thing that John would have you do is put a Marine Corps emblem up there. <laughs> he would want you to have an Eagle Globe and Anchor somewhere around that building near his name. From my perspective, he was never in anything for himself. He was always in it to promote the Marine Corps and history and document things and save stuff. Uh, Never for John. Weber says Gerber lived an exciting life and had a passion for everything he did involving the island. I think in that sense, I think having John's name on the post office is, is fitting because a lot of people will walk in and remember John. He was always marvelously alive and excited about everything he did. He had tremendous energy and he had great passion for, for what he wanted to see happen uh, on Guam and with the Marine Corps. And uh, I, I think we're, we're a lesser community for not having him with us. Weber says many of John's friends and family want to see the things he believed in continue on Guam. Whether you're driving down Marine Corps Drive or visiting the Pacific War Museum here in Maina, family and friends say renaming the U.S. Post Office building after John would not only bring respect but continue John's legacy here on Guam. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.